coming to you live from our nation's capital and headquarters to Amtrak. It is webinar time, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation of Round Trip Rail Vacations by Amtrak Vacations. I'm your host, Kyle Smith. Thank you for joining us and looking forward to spending some time with you to discuss your next train journey. Uh, and as we get started here, you will notice on the bottom of my screen here will be our reservations telephone number at 1-800-268. 7252 and our website www.amtrackvacations.com there you'll find all the information uh, that we uh, that we'll be going over today and much more so very excited to be on our new on 24 webinar system and uh, so we decided recently to jump to a new uh, platform that way we can provide you with even more reset uh, resources as well as greater package offering. So we're excited about that. And what we're gonna be covering today is a lot of different uh, pieces of information, but how you can start and or end a rail vacation right from your local Amtrak station. We currently have over 500 stations nationwide, and I can guarantee you there is a station uh, within your vicinity. And so everywhere in the country is accessible for you by rail. We're going to be discussing the overnight sleeping accommodations to you on board the train and uh, all the top destinations Amtrak can take you to right now, how to customize one of our trips, as well as some discounts and special offers that are available to you. So I would like to introduce you uh, to our entire organization called the Rail Bookers Group. And uh, so we are a privately held uh, independent tour operator, and we offer uh, worldwide independent rail vacations. Say that five times fast. And uh, so we do that through Amtrak Vacation. So we are not uh, Amtrak themselves. I'm not a federal employee, uh, but I do work for a privately held company that is Amtrak's official tour operator. So that's not really something you need to worry about. We operate in the exact same fashion. You can just download that digital brochure to your computer and uh, simply give the, uh, a call to the phone number at the bottom of the slide and you can go ahead and speak to our travel consultants directly. As well as Rail Bookers, our international brand which focuses on Europe, Canada, and even Alaska Asia and Australia all by rail. So if you're looking to eventually do an international trip of some kind on the train, then look no further than rail bookers. And you'll notice the QR code there in the top of your screen. Uh, feel free to sign up for our newsletter so you can always get our best trending destinations sent directly to you. Now, one thing I want you to uh, um, remember as we're going through this today is that we're able to book everything for you two years in advance. We get a lot of our customers that are inquiring today, but they're choosing to travel later this year, next year, and beyond. So you have a full two-year booking window to take care of everything that Amtrak has to offer you. And uh, our customers love Amtrak vacations because uh, our rail expertise. So um, most people don't realize Amtrak goes all over the United States, and I know I didn't number of years ago before I, I joined this team. But uh, everyone thinks Amtrak just operates in their local area. But in fact, it travels to all, almost all 50 states. There's an exception of a few. So if, you want, if you're looking to go across country from New York to California, Amtrak can take you there. And our rail expertise uh, makes it very simple for, uh, for you to plan your next dream vacation. Uh, we're able to book everything two years out. And we offer the largest rail selection uh, their offerings there is when it comes to uh, our famous packages. So right on our website, you can choose any destination and look to see what we can offer you. So as I move forward here, uh, now the options that are available with Amtrak Vacations are custom itineraries or packages, if you will. So our packages will include round trip Amtrak from wherever you're starting from. I'll be showing you some key packages today that are, are basically a round trip out of Chicago. But if you're in the uh, if you're in a rural town of North Carolina or somewhere in the south, uh, there is ways to get you to these key destinations. So very simple. But with our within our packages, they're fully customizable. So we can uh, we can, you know, twist them around to your liking. We can add additional nights. Uh, we can make it round trip from your hometown. Maybe you're in the suburb of uh, Chicago and prefer to, you know, avoid a two-hour drive to the big city or something like that. We can upgrade your rail tickets as well as your tours. So fully customizable. 
Now, we're going to go ahead and start uh, with just some real basics here of Amtrak, uh, packing for the train. So if this was a, um, a webinar on Delta vacations, for example, uh, this would be m very easy to comprehend. Chances are you've flown on Delta or some other major airline, and you just kind of know what it's like to travel by plane. And uh, but very few people can say they have that experience with Amtrak. And so most people just don't have the foggiest clue of how that comes together. So we want to keep this simple for you today. So number one, uh, let's talk about packing for the train. So as a passenger on the train, you can carry two pieces of luggage on board the train with you free of charge. And you can also check two pieces of luggage that will go underneath the train and will meet you at your final destination. And when you arrive at the train station, uh, you can show up 45 minutes before departure and have plenty of time to get checked in, go through the basic security and onto the train. So it's a very clean process, no matter where you're boarding uh, the Amtrak. And here is where the train can take you. So if you look at those licorice lines across the screen there, those represent all of the train tracks throughout the United States. So as you can see, Amtrak can take you just about anywhere. Uh, very plentiful here on the East Coast. And uh, if you're in that New York, uh, Pittsburgh, anywhere on the on the Northeast Corridor, uh, coming down through I-95 and all that, there is plenty of Amtrak right in this major area, uh, as well as going across country, as you can see there. So no matter where you want to go, overall, the train can take you. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in now to some of our round trip destinations and packages. We're going to start today with the Denver Rocky Mountain Getaway round trip out of Chicago. So uh, keep in mind, if you're not in Chicago or even in Illinois, for that matter, uh, no matter where you're at, we can get you on this trip. If you're coming from Michigan or maybe you're in St. Louis, whatever it may be, uh, we can definitely Amtrak you into Chicago to begin this great journey. So leave that up to us and we'll guide you through that. But uh, welcome to the Windy City, Chicago's main hub for Amtrak travel. So all the major routes in the country go in and out of Chicago. And uh, so if you're in the East Coast uh, here with me, looking to go out west, uh, you will definitely be going through Chicago to make those connections. And so uh, this is just a starting point to get on the train. And, uh, but we do have hotels here, if, uh, depending on the train schedule, or if you're choosing to fly in, uh, we will set up hotel if needed. And uh, the following day, you can begin your rail journey. So you're gonna overnight on the Amtrak to Denver, Colorado. So you'll be on the, uh, the California Zephyr train there, and uh, you'll take it as far as Denver. Train generally leaves about three in the afternoon, and you'll be arriving into Denver about six in the morning the following day. And so you'll have uh, some downtime here in Denver uh, to get yourself checked into your hotel to begin uh, your sightseeing e exploration. And that will take you to Rocky Mountain National Park. I mean, look at that site, just like, like that. So the Rocky Mountains is what it's all about on the Zephyr line of the Amtrak, and that is what you're gonna see up close and personal. So this is a guided tour. Uh, with ho with hotel pickup, the Amtrak doesn't uh, take you to this national park, uh, but we will through a transfer, and uh, you'll be able to explore Rocky Mountain National Park on your own. Here's another great photo of it. Uh, you'll see all the popular uh, stops along uh, along the tour, so it'll you know drop you off, pick you up, that kind of a thing. And this is actually a very simple, quick turnaround. So this is round trip Chicago with a two night stay in Denver with the guided sightseeing tour of Rocky Mountain National Park. And then you'll have the overnight trip on the train uh, in each direction. So it's a five day, four night itinerary. You're looking for a quick, easy getaway. Uh, this look no further than something like this. And uh, I'll take you through the train accommodations here towards the end. Uh, but we're gonna jump now into one of our larger product offerings. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, one sec here, let me just do this. <clears throat> All right, the Grand Rail Experience round trip from Los Angeles. So we get a lot of customers that call us or they go through their local travel agents that reach out to us and you know the customer or you directly want to go around the country by train, is that possible? Not really wanting to do hotels, that kind of a thing. Uh, that is possible to a point. So we call that a rail experience. So look at all these major cities here, Los Angeles, the starting point, going to New Orleans, Washington, DC, 
Chicago and Seattle and back to L.A. So you do have hotels in the major cities, but they're minimal. You spend the majority of this vacation on board the train. So you're going to be departing Los Angeles, and uh, which has a major union station in the downtown area. Uh, so if you're in the L.A. area, depending on where you're coming from, if you're in uh, the Orange County area, there are trains that will take you into the downtown area. And we can set that up for you. And then you'll board the Sunset Limited for a two-night journey to New Orleans. And so you'll be going through the southern part of the United States. Uh, you'll be going through parts of Arizona, uh, as well as New Mexico, south, uh, going through Texas, uh, through San Antonio and Houston, and right into New Orleans. So it's a lot of desert-like. Uh, if you've ever driven that I-10 corridor, uh, you, the train basically borders it. And that's going to take you on a two-night journey directly into the heart of New Orleans. You're looking at Bourbon Street here, and we offer you a couple of nights stay in New Orleans with some fun tours that you'll be able to do. You can do a, um, a visit ticket power pass. So if you want to go to the World War II Museum, you can use it to get into that. Uh, no additional cost required. Uh, if you want to go on a swamp and bayou tour, uh, you can do that as well. But right in the heart of the city here, um, you know, the, the hotels that we offer are right within walking distance of Bourbon Street, which is obviously well known for its nighttime entertainment, uh, as well as Jackson Square, which is actually not far from here either. So you're going to be right in the heart of the city uh, when visiting New Orleans. So a couple days later, you're going to board the Crescent train. Uh, Amtrak names the route. The Crescent goes from New Orleans to New York City, but it'll stop through Washington, D.C. So you'll have an overnight trip. Uh, leaves early in the morning and arrives early in the morning into D.C. And uh, D.C. has a major union station, which is actually not far from the Capitol building. And that's where all of our hotels that we offer are. Uh, and I'll talk more about hotels, but just to keep it simple, we offer three, four and five star rated properties. And uh, you're looking at the Jefferson Memorial here and uh, not far from the Washington Monument. So you'll uh, you'll have plenty of opportunities to see the sites. We offer a Monuments by Moonlight tour, which uh, is exactly that, a nighttime tour of all the major monuments. And you get to see them lit up at night, and they're really quite fascinating. Uh, those white buildings just completely lit up at night. And uh, the best part about a nighttime tour is there's generally very few people at the monuments. And these are you know, pretty much open. You can walk right into the rotundas there and, and see these things up close and personal. And uh, so it's a great way to see... Uh, DC. Uh, and then from there, you're going to be making your way all the way to Seattle, Washington. And uh, that is quite the rail journey coming out of DC. So you're going to overnight, it's going to take you uh, three days basically to get there. And uh, that's going to take you all the way through Chicago, where you'll have some time to explore the major city. And then it's going to take you all the way out to Seattle, which is a two night journey as well. So a couple of days on the train, just like that. So that's what you're you're looking for you're looking at the right package here so you'll arrive into seattle for uh, i believe it's a night stay and uh, this is the downtown area of course and then uh you'll have plenty of opportunities to explore the space needle and uh you know maybe go on a harbor cruise we offer those tours and then you're going to be making your way coming all the way back down into Los Angeles on the Coast Starlight. So there's a great way for you uh, to go around the entire country all by Amtrak, and that's called our Grand Rail Experience. Okay, another product offering we want to share with you, the Yellowstone National Park round trip from Chicago. So we do a lot of national parks, uh, Yellowstone being one of the largest ones, and uh, this will be round trip out of Chicago. So we'll, we'll go a little faster here. But uh, you board the train in Chicago. It's an overnight trip to Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, upon arrival into Salt Lake City, uh, there are no direct train tracks that go into Yellowstone National Park. So Salt Lake is the major area, and uh, we include a hotel here in Salt Lake. You'll be arriving at night. <laughs> Excuse me. The following morning, you'll board the, this transfer that's going to drive you up to uh, Yellowstone National Park for a two-night stay. And I do have some great photos of the park. Here you go. So this is all found in the lower loop of the park, uh, the uh, the big major thermals. And uh, so while you're touring Yellowstone, you'll have a lower loop tour that'll take you past all these major thermals. You'll see Old Faithful 
as well as the Canyon of Yellowstone. Uh, they call it actually the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Uh, and I think I have a picture of it here, but as you can see, uh, you'll see a lot of made all the bison, of course. I mean, I think that's what really most people think of uh, when they think of Yellowstone National Park. And so that is a quick turnaround, as you can see here. You have one night, one night on the train each way. Uh, you'll spend a total of two nights in Salt Lake, uh, one at the beginning of the trip and one at the end, and a two-night stay in Yellowstone. And so this is a quick turnaround, and uh, eight days, seven nights in total to do this. Uh, so it is a week long, but you will see a lot of great uh, sightseeing along the way. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and do the Whitefish and Glacier National Park Getaway Round Trip from Seattle. Uh, so for those of you that are up in that region, uh, you can go out to Whitefish and Glacier Park uh, directly here on an overnight trip. So this is Whitefish, Montana, uh, over on the western side of the state, toward Glacier Park. It's a small town uh, located in the western entrance of Glacier Park, which is very, very big. And uh, we offer you some time here in Whitefish uh, so you can explore the west area of the National Park. And there's uh, guided tours for that that we have included. And then, of course, uh, you take the Amtrak uh, over to the uh, East Glacier side. And uh, from there, you'll, uh, you'll do a boat cruise of the Two Medicine Valley Lake, as well as a Big Sky Circle Tour, uh, which is a full-day land tour of the National Park. So you're going to see it all up close and personal uh, by land, as well as by water. And then you're simply going to just uh, board the train, uh, heading overnight back into the Seattle area. But again, if you're coming from the from the south or from the east or whatever it may be, uh, we can definitely customize this package to fit that. So the questions we get from our customers every day is like, what's it like on board the train? I mean, most people usually don't associate train travel with a, with a major vacation, although I feel that's changing. So let me spend some time uh, going through life on board the Amtrak. And so um, just know Amtrak has 500 stations. Uh, major cities generally have a union station. So if you're near Los Angeles, San Francisco, you know, you get the idea. Those are major train stations uh, with uh, daily departures. And um, now Amtrak offers a couple of different accommodations, and I'll take you through each one, but as an overview, coach accommodations as well as sleeper cars. Now, 90% of our customers are spending the night on the train going to their vacation destination. So there are sleeper cars. And uh, when you upgrade to one, you'll have priority access on the Amtrak. So you'll get checked in and you'll be able to board the train first uh, away from everybody else, which is a, a nice little perk here. And uh, But we'll get to those in a minute here. So here are the coach accommodations on the train. And a couple of things, if you look closely here, you should notice a few things. Uh, number one, you'll notice that there's plenty of leg room. Uh, just look at the male passenger there and you'll see all the leg room he has. And the chair reclines back at a 45 degree angle. Those are two things the airline seats do not do, uh, unless you're in first class, of course, and uh, paying buco bucks. But on the Amtrak, you will get that leg room and the ability to recline, plenty of overhead storage space for, uh, for carry-on luggage. And if you look very closely, uh, there are electrical outlets at each seat, so you can charge your, your phones and whatnot, your iPads. Uh, but the best thing about coach accommodations, outside of the scenery, of course, is the ability to roam the train. So you can get up at any time and walk over into the observation car. You can go to the dining car and just stretch your legs, basically. So very obviously very different from the airlines uh, in those fashions. Now we'll uh, spend a few moments going th uh, through the private upgrades uh, to the sleeping accommodations where the majority of our guests stay on board the train. So a couple important things to know here about upgrading to sleeping accommodations. Number one is you'll have a dedicated room car attendant. Think of it as your personal train attendant, you know, like a flight attendant, but specifically for you, uh, for those that are sleeping in the in these accommodations. And they are a great resource. Um, I've met uh, many of them over the years, just going on and off trains, and they are excited to work for Amtrak. They're, they're train enthusiasts. Their knowledge of the route is impeccable, and uh, they will be there to provide you with your daily needs and there to support you with whatever you feel you need on board the train. So you'll get to know them well. 
Uh, on top of that, you'll also have a privacy door. So you, this is a roomette. I'll show you that more in a moment. But you can go into this room, whether you're traveling by yourself or with your with your husband or wife or whomever, and you can close that door and you can latch it and close out the drapes on the train, get some privacy, that kind of a thing, and uh, take a nap after lunch. And it's just a nice, quiet place where you can reside on board the train. Now, if you're in a sleeper car, all of your meals are included in the reservation on board. So that'll be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you can, um, you can have your meals in the dining car, or you can have them brought to you in your room, uh, like room service if you prefer. And the room car attendants there will figure out what you want to do, and that's pretty self-explanatory. But with that, let's go ahead and get into the different accommodations for sleeping. So the first option is a roomette. Um, which is a small private room for two people. Uh, it's not very big, I will say that, and it's just big enough for two folks. Uh, so the chairs face each other there, and then at night they will uh, come down flat like this, and that's the bottom bunk. The top bunk is in the ceiling. You'll just look up, you'll see a lever, you pull it down, the bed folds into place, and, um, and then from there you'll have um, your pillows and your blankets. So it's easy to arrange the room. Uh, at night, the room car attendants will uh, can help you out with that. And one of the key misconceptions of a sleeper is that you have to stay in your room the entire time. That's actually not true at all. You're welcome to roam the train just like anybody else. Go to the dining car and to the observation car at any time. And here's what the room looks like at night when the beds are put in place. And uh, quite comfortable too. And uh, I'm I'm tall. I'm six foot three, so leg room is definitely a necessity for me. And I was able to, you know, spread my legs out just fine and, and uh, you know, not curl my knees all night. Slept pretty comfortably on board a moving train. And then uh, now the best part about a, uh, a sleeper car is the ability to have access to a shower. So those are going to be just down the hall and to the left of your roomette. Uh, very similar to a shared bathroom on a plane, but there are several of them on board the Amtrak. And I've never had to wait take a shower on the train, you just do your thing there and and so forth. So if you're on an overnight trip, that is a definite must and uh, and so on. So here are the dimensions for the bedroom or for the roomette. Not very large, uh, but we are getting to the more deluxe option, which is called a bedroom, uh, which is the exact opposite of a roomette. It's much larger in space and configuration. And um, as you enter the room, you'll be facing the back window there. Uh, you have, uh, if you look where this man's wife is sitting, this is the bottom bunk right here. It just folds into place, and the top bunk is actually right there. There's a little lever. You just pull it down, and it comes into place. And the full bathroom and shower are inside the bedroom compared to the roomette where they were down the hall. Just behind the male passenger here is the entrance into the bathroom uh, and the shower. And uh, so you got your own private hotel room on a moving train. All right, here's what it looks like when the beds are down in place. Uh, you can't see it here, but at the, the top bunk there at the foot of the bed is a step ladder that you can use to get up into the second bunk. Uh, they have a, a safety net you can clamp in there. And even at nighttime, uh, there's still plenty of room to roam around the bedroom if you need to use the restroom in the night or something. And uh, of course, you are welcome to roam the train at any time. Here are the configurations for the bedroom. And with that, uh, the last part of this is the ADA accessible bedroom. So if you or someone you're trying family with or in a wheelchair or they use a walker, uh, need that additional assistance. Amtrak does have ADA accessible bedrooms They're on the lower level part of the train. Uh, let us know when you call us if this is what you require. There's only a few of them on board the train, uh, but they are fully equipped to handle anybody in a wheelchair and uh, with room service and your room car attendant and those customers are very comfortable in this accommodation there. So I just wanted to give you some highlights of what you can expect on board the train. And uh, the last part here is there are everyday discounts for children, senior citizens, and active military. So if uh, you or somebody in your travel party fall into one of these three categories, let us know, and that'll come right off the rail portion of your, uh, of your vacation. Uh, don't forget to download some of our digital brochures found at AmtrakVacations.com for national parks, major cities. It's all there. Or just 
be old school like me. Pick up the phone, give us a call, or go visit your local travel agent, and they're a great resource to have. And uh, they know a lot about these destinations, and we've been partnering with travel agents for many years, and uh, uh, always enjoy to speak with our awesome travel agent partners. So anyway, we hope you sparked your curiosity today. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely give us a call or visit us online, or just go visit your local travel agent, whatever you're most comfortable with. But appreciate you taking the time today. Enjoy the rest of your day. We hope to see you on board real soon. Take care.